Hi, I'm now going to discuss the topic of um, how to assemble an 80 centimeter satellite dish. Um, so, just on the tvtrade.ie website, what we do is we simply go to the home page, click on satellite dish, come down to universal satellite dishes here, which are separate again from sky dishes that we've used for normal free to air and skywalk, and um, you'll see the option here on 80 centimeter dish. So, you can simply click on it. And you can see all of the links here, and it's warning not to use this with Sky LMBs, you have to use it with a universal LMB. And on our website, we have videos um, of how to assemble this dish and things like that, which indeed you're looking at now, installation steps and associated equipment, and links into our frequently asked question pages. Um, so if we just come, come through here, uh, you'll see in terms of tools, the only tool, the actual tool comes uh, with, with the um, satellite dish and how to assemble it here, comes within the, uh, the bag of components. Uh, alternatively, if you just look at the far end of it, it's a 10 millimeter terpene. So just for this purpose here, I just have a 10 on a terpene. Uh, which you may provide for yourself. So the first thing I'll do is I'll simply slot through the u bolt So you can see I've slotted through the first u bolt here. Uh, so the next step is simply to come along and take off these nuts here and, um, and proceed to slot through this u bolt here. And these u bolts of course, are used to mount onto um, a bracket that will be bolted onto the wall. You can see here actually we have a sky bracket, style set bracket. This satellite dish, when we buy them in directly from the manufacturer, does not come on a wall bracket. We, we provide the customer with Sky um, Bracket um, to facilitate the mounting of the dish onto the wall. Uh, we don't provide a, an LMB with it, simply because many customers have their own LMB, or we don't know whether people want a single, a twin, or um, a quad LMB. Or possibly even this can be used in conjunction with a, with a, a quattro and a, a, a multi-switch system for if it has an apartment block that's been wired. So this is the elevation bracket that's been fully uh, assembled at this point. And what we do now is we come along and we assemble uh, the next part here, which is uh, we slap this inside here. And we can see here that we have the nuts and bolts um, for this. So we simply come along and we slot the, the bolt, which has the sort of square head on it, through this hole here, feed it up through, and we put a nut on it here. And there's a total of um, four holes, so we just repeat the process. And this, will, this can be adjusted here um, to uh, allow different elevations to be uh, found with the dish. Uh, we'll just simply repeat, repeat. Um, Um, so that, that's it. This, um, this will slot onto the back of the satellite dish here. Okay? So what we do now is we simply come along and we get these bolts here. We slot them through the front of the satellite dish like this. Um, because of the square shape of it, you can't turn that nut now. Now we we'll take up this bolt here, slot this through, come here. Now, in reality, we'd put through all four bolts. Uh, in this, for this particular example, I think I'll only slot through two. It will speed up the assembly process, and it doesn't need much of the imagination. If you've seen two bolts slot through, you'll probably have a fair idea how it slot through four. Uh, so I just put on the diagonal ones here to make sure they're secure. Uh, come along here. Um, we would use a 13 millimeter nut here to simply lock these into position. Don't need to hold the front of the thing because it's held by a square um, shape. Okay. Now the next thing we would do here is we would simply slot the arm. Okay. So the, the hole at the bottom indicates the bottom of the dish. And what we'll do here is, um, if we looked in this bracket here, it's already threaded. So we can simply get um, this bolt here, uh, a washer on it. Uh, we can slot it straight through. Once again, a 10 millimeter, um, either a socket or a, a spanner is enough to drive down this. Um, and we can, um, We'll simply repeat the process uh, for the next nut. So a second nut will simply be slotted through here. Okay, I'll just actually speed on through the process here. We'll leave that there for now. And we'll slot it over here. Well, we'll see here that um, I think um, we'll just stop here for a second. And so this LMB here, we can slot it through like this uh, and rotate the angle around like this. And uh, we simply have a uh, a nut which slots into a preformed hole here. So if you push this in, and now what we'll do is 
This requires just a small Phillips screwdriver, which we have here. So we slot this straight through like this. Okay, so this is it. Um, and we can simply see here this L and B will be slapped through here. You can see the hole here. We simply shove through this nut here, uh, through the hole. Uh, we will lock this in from the top. Indeed, we could have not had a trap any equally as well from the other side. There's no particular significance to it. Um, I'll just go to the back of this here. We'll just finish off the assembly here. So what I'll do here is just get this nut and bolt here. Lock it straight through. And that's it, more or less beginning to end the assembly of the dish. Now the next step we would go through here is um, just a plastic insert here, it's simply to stop water gathering in the, the feed arm at the back and you can just push this down until it's secure. Now we'd use a 10 millimeter nut to, um, we'd actually mount this bracket onto the wall, so the bracket sits on the wall and the arm feeds out like this. Now it's ideal to feed it this way because with this, if you just hold it to the back of the thing, if you can see if it's fed like that, it'll actually allow a full 180 degrees rotation. So you can swing it from side to side. So if we have a wall that's facing in a generally south direction, uh, we'll be able to uh, get a full rotation on this dish and all satellites are found in this general location. Um, so that, that's a very handy convenient and why we found this bracket ideal to add on as a set on it. And that's it from beginning to end. Uh, the assembly of uh, an 80 centimeter satellite dish, it would normally be used for um, not Astra 2 um, satellites, unless you live in extreme uh, coastal region, uh, west coast of Ireland, but normally you'd use it for a uh, hotboard Astra 1, where um, you know, a 60 centimetre dish might get you out, but an 80 centimetre dish would be far better reception. Um, and I mean, that's it beginning to end. Uh, the